all, I'm Dr. Know-It-All. This channel is dedicated to finding out whether I actually know everything or not. <laughs> so you get to find out whether I'm right or I'm wrong, depending on how things go. Um, my wife picks out questions that you ask, so make sure that you like and subscribe and also ask questions in the comments, and she will pick out questions that she finds interesting, and we will see how I do about them. So, I mean, esoterica, anything. So today we are going to find out, she asked me, ah, <laughs> she asked me the definition of HDMI. So, let's see, okay. I believe we are talking about high definition media, in, high definition media interface, yeah. So I believe that's what it is. I will check, of course, in a moment with the computer and we will find out. Um, HDMI is actually, if I remember correctly, a solution to deal with the plethora of cables that people uh, had, you know, I don't know if you're as old as I am, you remember back in the 80s and 90s and when you'd start to put together first stereo systems and then computer systems with stereo systems and then hi-fi things and 5.1 surround sound and so forth, you would end up with these absolutely insane cable nests behind, you know, your TV or uh, behind your stereo and so forth. So um, <clears throat> there was a, you know, work to kind of compress things a little bit. And uh, HDMI was designed as, uh, actually it's an outgrowth of another technology. First there was VGA, which everyone's probably familiar with, which is the little plug that goes from your computer to like older projectors and so forth. Um, but, after, but that was an analog signal. And after that came DVI or digital video interface, which was a digital video signal. Um, it, transfer, it transferred video fine, and so it worked really well for like computer monitors and so forth, but it did not include audio. So HDMI, again, if I'm remembering correctly, HDMI was the combination of digital video, DVI, digital video interface, with a digital audio interface all into one cable. So, uh, you know, nowadays life is a lot better. You have like one cable, it does what it's supposed to do, and uh, you happy days right so so anyway if you have issues with dvi and i know a lot of times there's like mini dvi and micro dvi and all these connections and you're like oh, i don't have the right cable but believe me compared to what life was like in the 80s and 90s uh, things are much much better than they used to be so all right now i'm gonna go check i think we can probably just use wikipedia or something for today so give me one second i will speed up the footage here just so that you know you know i'm not cheating or anything like that I figure Wikipedia is probably a reasonable source for today because it's not like we're talking about something super esoteric here, so we can probably just trust for that. So, okay, high definition multimedia interface. <laughs> Winner. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, I think I said media interface, but okay, I'll give myself the win anyway because that's pretty darn close. Uh, anyway, so yeah, HDMI, let's see, it was developed. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. It talks about the standards, um, and let's see. Oh, there's a whole bunch of definitions. Wow, it's got all the pins. If you're uh, if you're very interested in that, uh, 2002. Yeah, I was thinking it was probably early 2000s when it came about. And let me do a search for DVI and see if that. Ah, yep, there we go. So let's see what we got. Um, no signal conversion is necessary. Nor is there loss of video and even enter. Do, 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 do. Yep. So right on that front too. So yes, it's an outgrowth of DVI technology, but it includes sound as well. So there you go. Um, yeah, anyway, it's got a rather interesting history for a, what seems like kind of a ubiquitous thing now. It hasn't really been around that long. It, um, uh, you know, less than 20 years, 17 years since it was invented. And of course, nowadays it's very commonly on computers and it's of course on all the audio video equipment and so forth. So. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I'm trying to think of how many DVI connections I have just like sitting in my office right here. There's quite a few. There's, I think, two or three on the back of my hi-fi stereo system. Um, there's one on the back of my computer. My other computer is a uh, MacBook Pro, which has the USB-C, but I have a, an HDMI converter on my USB-C. So, um, and then I think, I don't know, <laughs> there's probably a few other ones lying around here someplace back in my audio equipment and so forth that I'm not thinking of. So anyway, it's, it's become quite ubiquitous and it's quite a nice technology and it really did solve an awful lot of problems that were causing serious issues for people, just cable clutter. It was a big deal and it's, uh, it's a, a really nice solution. <laughs> All right, so like and subscribe. 
for more and definitely make sure you ask questions in the comments like i said my wife kind of reads through them and she picks ones that she thinks will be a good gotcha and she'll go ahead and give it to me and i read it and i answer live and then we see whether i'm right or wrong <laughs> so today i win we'll see what happens next time thanks